If you've been riding for any amount of time, you'll know what I mean when I say that sometimes the conditions, they're a little unforgiving. It's slippery or muddy or even really dusty. And it's not just the dust you have to worry about, it can also be sandy conditions. Other than making it harder to see and needing a little bit of a different skill set on the bike, it's also really hard on air filters. But there is a product out there that is supposed to help. Filter skins. What's up everybody, Mitch here with Fit for Moto. Thanks so much for checking out another video on my Fit for Moto YouTube channel. It's all things moto, man. It's what we're into, it's what we love. In today's video, we're looking at some PC filter skins. Now there are some other brands that run these similar type of things, but the claim is you can chuck them on your air filter if you're riding in really sandy or dusty conditions, peel them off and you got a fresh filter again just like that. Saves you from having to swap out your air filter so many times or halfway through the day peel one off, you get to let your bike breathe a little bit midday, which is also good for the engine. So we're gonna give these things a try today in some sandy conditions and see what I think. So the idea behind the filter skins is that they go over top of your air filter and they give you an extra layer of protection. But you can also remove them and get a little more life out of your filter before you have to clean it again. So at the local tracks that I ride, they recently introduced a whole bunch of sand, which is a ton of fun to ride, but I am having to clean my air filter after every single ride. And I don't mean it's just a little dirty. I mean, that thing is completely caked and I feel bad for the bike because it probably can't even breathe that well. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to try these filter skins out. Now the idea here is pretty simple. They're quite stretchy, they're like a, like a leotard or something like that. The idea is you just stretch them over the air filter and they act as like an extra layer on there. They all stop the dirt or the sand or the dust or whatever it is from getting on top of your filter while still letting your bike breathe. So you do oil them like you would any regular filter, just give them a little spray or if you have a liquid uh, air filter oil, just rub them in there, something like that. And then apply it over top of your filter and it saves you from having to do it so much like I mentioned. So uh, I'm really interested to see if these work because doing filters is something I do every, literally every single ride. I might ride only for an hour and I've got to do another filter. Uh, and like I said, they're not just a little dirty, they're cake. So this might be a really cool thing for me. To, I mean, the installation, there's nothing to the installation. You're gonna just wrap it on there. So I can't go into that too much in this video. So all that's left to do is to hit the track. See you there. One of the benefits of having such a thing for your filter system is its ease of application. After quickly stretching it into the place, it was just a matter of getting it onto the bike and putting this thing to the test. It seems like a good idea, but does it actually work? So the way that I'm doing this, oh, gonna get the lens all sticky. The way that I'm doing this is I'm hooking it into these little grooves, camera will focus, that uh, the air filter cage uses to stay in put. So I'm gonna hook it into those and kind of see. Hopefully those will hold it in place. So after a few motos, I returned home, opened up the air box and see what we found. And well, other than removing it from the air box, here it is, I haven't touched it. So I'm really curious to see what the air filter underneath it looks like and uh, I'm gonna need some gloves for that. So, some handy gardening gloves here, which if you've never seen these things before, um, really cheap, like a couple bucks from the dollar store, but they work really well for working on bikes because they're so grippy. Uh, anyway, let's dig into it. So fresh air filter, went out and rode. As you can see, um, the air filter skin is quite dirty. 
Now the claim is that when we peel this thing off, you're gonna have another fresh filter so you don't have to change your air filter quite as much and that really is my hope. So let's just dig into it and see what we got here. Yeah, I mean, it, it did what it said it was going to do. So the air filter skin itself is quite dirty and this will be really easy to clean. You can chuck it into some uh, warm water with some dish soap, wring it out real well, maybe use a little air filter cleaner on it to get some of the air filter oil off if that's a problem for you. But nonetheless, the filter itself is good to go. Of note, right around the rim of the filter, and this will probably be the same on any filter on any bike, but there is quite a bit of dirt right around the rim of the filter itself. So you're gonna have to make sure that if you are going to reinstall this filter, that you make sure you kind of get some of that out of the way. Maybe give it a little blast with some air filter oil to make sure that it doesn't get inside your air box if you go and slip this thing back in. So what's the verdict? Well. I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed. The skin itself did take the dirt from getting on top. There is a little bit on there, but that's not really not a big deal compared to the way it normally is really caked with stuff. So, I mean, yeah, you could peel the skin off and you could use this air filter again, just keeping in mind, like I said, some of the particulates around the rim and stuff, you wanna make sure that those go get into your bike. Other than that, I'm gonna give the PC Racing Filter Skins a thumbs up. They're pretty cheap. I think I paid 15 or 20 bucks for a pack of three of them. That's not bad, and it's a great way for you to have to stop doing so many air filters all the time. Or even if you want to, you know, for the better life of your bike, if you're out riding for three hours or so, you know, you ride for an hour and a half or halfway through the day or whatever, peel that thing off and let your bike breathe again. Really, really impressed with these PC uh, racing skins. Again, I've seen other brands as well, but it's all the same thing. They all do the same thing. If you struggle with dirty air filters because you ride in sandy conditions or really dusty conditions, I definitely recommend getting some filter skins. I'm pretty impre impressed, uh, in fact, enough that I'm gonna start running these all the time. Uh, that's a pretty awesome thing. Hope you liked the video, hit subscribe for me. I'm gonna put this thing back in my bike, eh, maybe after a little touch up, and get that thing ready to ride again. We'll see you guys in the next video.